NDSU head football coach Chris Kleiman officially announcing starting quarterback Carson Wentz is out for an expected six to eight weeks with a broken bone in his wrist on that throwing hand. A devastating blow after a tough Missouri Valley Conference loss on Saturday. Wentz undergoes surgery on Wednesday. Today, though, well, today the senior captain is at practice and helping coach up Easton Stick, who will be getting the start on Saturday at Indiana State. NDSU says Wentz was injured in the first half of Saturday's loss. Wentz told the team he landed on it and thought it was just a sprain of some sort. Coaches were notified Sunday, and then Monday they learned it was more severe than originally expected. Well, the news is tough, and the loss of a play caller is an adjustment. Where no one at NDSU is surprised is in Wentz's ability to finish the game Saturday, completing 16 of 28 passes for nearly 200 yards and two touchdowns. I don't care if it's an ankle injury at Montana or or something else uh, in the playoffs last year. Um, he's a he's a tough, competitive guy that uh, uh, wants to do everything he can to be a servant leader, and that's to help his teammates win. In Wentz's 41 career games for the Bison, he has passed for nearly 5,000 yards with 44 touchdown passes and a total of 74 career touchdowns. He will continue to travel with the team each week and continue to lead this team. As for Easton Stick, the redshirt freshman has rushed just three times for 24 yards this season. Despite his lacking college football experience, the coaches say he's as tough as anyone on this team, and they're excited to see him step up, saying he's prepared each week as a backup like the start was his, and his preparation as the starter began Monday night. We've got to move forward. Uh, last night we had a great practice with Easton and Cole uh, getting the lion's share of the reps, and today it'll be the same way. And well, an early start for Stick in his first career start this weekend. Our Farmers Union Insurance Bison football pregame show is underway at 11 in the morning this weekend. Another shakeup this week. This game will not be on KVLY this week. Your only viewing option is ESPN3 because of a deal between the league and ESPN. Again, this game can only be viewed on ESPN3 this and week. And then the rest of the year. Back on KVLY yeah, okay. and NBC North Dakota. All right. Good. Fair Don't enough. worry. Don't worry. <laughs> yeah. Still